Hello? I'm Fat Five Freddy. I'm here to see Puffy. How you doing, Fat Five Freddy? What's up, baby doll? Hold on a second. Puffy, Fat Five Freddy's here. Oh, what up, Bob? What's up, baby? What's going on, baby? What's going on? Everything is all good in the hood. Yeah, yeah. This is the headquarters right here, kid. Yeah, I Thanks am. You're on TV Grabs. We have been this, Pete. Yeah. This is it. Bad Boy Entertainment. Bad Boy Entertainment. Huh? No doubt. Cool, cool, cool. cool. So, so what we going to do, baby? Where's Craig and I mean, Biggie and all that? we going to kick it. They in the back. You know what I'm saying? They in the conference room writing some rhymes right now. But we're going to go in the back, kick it. OK. So I'm going to show you my office. Come on, come on. Let's, come on, let's go. Hey, yo, stay tuned. We're going to roll into the first video. You know what I'm saying? Craig Mack, Flavor in Your Air Remix, baby. It's on and popping. Yo, MTV Rap. Big Papa is a joint. I mean, when I came out with the Juicy joint, it was like an introduction, you know what I'm saying? Let everybody know how it went down with me, you know what I'm saying? As far as the hustling and got on in the rap game, it was all good. Big Papa is just a joint, you know what I'm saying? Just a joint for the honeys and for the willies, you know, the players out there. You know, that seems to be the thing right now. Everybody got their candles. They want to be players, you know what I'm saying? All the honeys is in the house. It's a party joint, you know? Puff said, let's get the money. So that's what we went for, get the money. The bad boy. Yeah. And this is the chief bad boy himself, Puffy. I'm over here. I'm over here. Yes, so, yes. My little lab right here, you know, where I cut my deals and all that. Got my little headset so I ain't got to have the phone. Picked up to my head, I don't want to hurt oh, that's my arm, cool. You know? That's like, you know, when you be in Hollywood, all those agents yeah, have yeah. these. They be like, you know, <laughs> conversating and I'm things like that. I'm just living out a dream, you know what I'm saying? Young black man, just living out a dream. So you Blowing know, up the spot, just right? Just trying to do my thing here. That's interesting, because a lot of people Puffy's age want to grab this mic and rap, but Puffy, you wanted to do other things, and you're doing a lot of them. Now, yeah. I remember back about four or five years ago when you first started making your name on the scene, you used to promote some hardcore hip-hop parties at a club yeah. called The Red Zone. Yeah, it's Daddy's House. It started out as hardcore, then because the scene was so real and so hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, it's it's so underground, <laughs> it started turning, it started crossing over a little bit. Then, you know, when Fashion Week was in town, all yeah. the models up there, well, Russell was up, up in there, there Russell you Ranch, was up in you there, a lot it. of the... Movie stars, Robert right. De Niro every now and then. You know what I'm saying? You know, all and then you realized actors. you had the potential to parlay, and then you started work with Andre Harrell. Tell yeah. us about no, that. At the time, I was working with Andre Harrell, but right. he wasn't paying me enough, so I had to promote parties on the side, which okay. was all good. Right, you know what right. <laughs> it was all lovely. <laughs> I was so happy to, to, have, to have him giving me the chance. Okay? Tell us about some of the people you work with at Uptown. I mean, okay. it was Jodeci, of course, Jodeci and you had a lot to do with the look, the yeah. style, and it tell was, us about it that. It was Jodeci, whereas we, um, there was some four guys that sung, but they were part of the hip-hop culture, right. and but they weren't representing the hip-hop culture, so I felt it was time as far as on the gear look and also the attitude. The boots, since, the yeah, 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 since they was listening to Cube and listening to EPMD, that they they st they stayed within their culture with the way they were dressed. So that was your decision yeah. to really have them kick the whole boot flavor, yeah, the, the baggy whole, the boot thing. baseball hat. It, it, it was with them, you know what I'm saying? Everything I do with my groups, I'm not just dictating to them. It was with them, you know what I'm saying? And then Mary J. Blige Mary came J. into Blige. the picture. No doubt. Mary J. Blige was, was the female from Uptown, from the projects. Yeah. You know, just a honey, the regular everyday young lady from the urban community going through the strife, struggles, and tribulations. Round away girl. Round away girl, no doubt. <laughs> and the littlest bad boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, I'm not the host of the show no more. Here's, the, here's my feeling. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a single from my man Jack Benson, the producer of the show, who also used to be your roommate, right, Puppy? Yeah, yeah, me and Jack used to live together. You know, he was very dirty and very messy. <laughs> I seen this girl, yeah, we're around the way. She kicked it over there where my homegirls stay. I've been on the step up and make a swoon to me. 
It's just a job of being devastating MCs When I'm looking for a freak, you know it ain't no stress I get the eyes tight and then you out that dress So when I roll up and say, what's your name? Showing them thighs, driving me insane Don't try to front, cause I saw you look I know you're thinking about how much time I took So now I'm out on the town with my alias Getting all freaks in my radius Sean was fly, so was Michelle. Denise and Kiana broke me off real well. So if you in the city and you got it like that, Yusef, why don't you tell them where the honeys is at? They on the bus stop. Now I am not the one to be flossing, see, about the James every day that I flock to me. And yes, I see him round the way, cause they all got fame. You know the brothers realize, cause we peep that game. From LaShawn down to Kim, plus Antoinette. Little Keisha and Sharika can't forget for Zip. For the chips that I make a nature rise. You see, I gotta put them down just to recognize. From the neighborhood spot where they all might gap. From the phone conversation to the latest fad. I can't front or even stop, cause the spot's quite hot. And like without the proper vision, you must shake the spot. Shake so the if spot. you get an eye, then you best pursue. Cause if your line's kinda late, another job will do. And if you see Tamika, tell her, give me a ring. No, I'ma let the cable go so the guy. Can sing. They don't know what to stop. They out bumping the sand. They act every night in the city. Take a look at them losing the ground. They don't know what to stop. They out bumping the sand. They act every night in the city. Take a look at them losing the ground. They don't know what to stop. They out bumping the sand. They act every night in the city. Take a look at them losing the ground. They don't know what to stop. They out bumping the sand. In summer dresses and braided hair. Faded froze really make me stare. I'm talking about the girls who really know. Really who know. nod they heads when the beat is slow. Sherelle is the girl with the attitude. But I handle that right when I'm in the mood. Shake is the girl who's paging me. I call her when I'm finished on this MIC. One day you ask Kiki what her homegirls say. They say, who was that baller that over baller, there today? Seeing these J's is routine, you see. I even like the girls who jock constantly. It's not that I'll be flossing or nothing like that. I guess I'm just a player with that old school rap. Now if the sun is shining and it's really hot, my man wants to tell him about them honey spots. Honey spots. Honey spots. That these bad boys bad built, boys. you know what I'm saying? No Puffy and crew. So Puffy, no, it's my crew than me. This is family. Artists always first, baby. Puffy, take it away. Check it out. It's my man, the notorious B.I.G. What's the deal? What's going on? It's my man, Craig Mack. Ah. It's my foundation. You know what I'm saying? It's my life right here. We 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 all need each other to live and breathe, and that's the way we treat each other. Tell me how you came out of all of, you know, I know you're a big <coughs> fan of rap. I know you know a million and one rap artists. How did you come to sign these two let them tell you, ben, artists here? Little, well, story. okay, go ahead, well, Ben. Um, I had did a joint for the Source magazine, and my man Maddie C got with Puff, and Puff said he wanted to do something new for Uptown, and he heard the little the little garbage demo, you know? No, but he just, he just, knew that I, he that just told me that he knew I could rap, you know what I'm saying, just from a, from the rhymes on the joint, he just signed me, you know. And now my man over here, Craig Mack. He used to hold with Craig Zippin. What up, y'all? What up? <laughs> well, the deal's like this. If you if you want to know how, you know what I'm saying, I met with Puff. Me and my man Al B was running around, you know what I'm saying, scrambling a demo tape out on the island. And um, we was looking for a record deal. We was going to other labels and stuff like that. We was bouncing around and everything else. And then my man, Al B turned around and said, like, yo, let's go check out my man Puff. So, I guess Albie and Puff met up, you know what I'm saying? They got a little thing going where they were going to meet at this club called Mecca. 
and Alvin brought me down to Mecca. I went outside the club. I was kicking it with my man Puff. He had me kick a freestyle rhyme for him. Me, Alvin, and Puff was sitting outside. I kicked the freestyle rhyme for him. He was like, yo, um, you know what? I'm going to trade you a record deal. If you get down on Mary J's, you don't have to worry. Sound, um, record. Remix, it was a remix. Remix, but remix. who was the man? You know the Come movie. On, I, was I, the I was in the movie. Ed Lover, Dr. Dre. Yeah. Wrecked by Ted Demi. No doubt. So MTV. Bad Five Freddy. I'm in this piece, baby. <laughs> hey, yo, so, so I kicked a freestyle rhyme for him, right? And then we went up into the studio, and I came out with Don't Try to Play Me for the same, same scene, coming in at the end of Mary J's joint. You know what I'm saying? Then we went up in the studio, we started cranking out 11 bombs was on Project Funk the World. That's in store, and here man. we are, Bad Boy Entertainment. Bad Boy for 945 life. representing, boy. It's on and ah. popping up here at the Bad, Por Bad Boy headquarters. Uh. Headquarters. Yo, you ready Black to roll into this here? A little video? A little video? What's coming on? I want to see how, you know what I'm saying? The young black man's dream. Juicy. Being an MC in 1995 is, is, is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of competition out there. You got a lot of brothers out there trying to get what you got and trying to take, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else's position. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that your spot is better than everybody else's and you're making sure that when you're at that spot, you're keeping it hot than everybody else will keep Bounce around. I remember Puppy used to be one of the most incredible dancers at the oh, party dude, back in the day. I still am, Puppy baby. just going to his own thing at the I party. I still like, do. I still do. Whatever I got to do, you know what I'm saying, to get the, the culture and the lifestyle across, you know what I'm saying? Real, baby. I try get to be the real. epitome of what I make, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the yeah. club just like the next person. Yeah, we also see Puffy up in all them videos. But now, what I want to get into right now is obviously, you know, we here in New York, the birthplace of rap, and definitely the birthplace of most of the innovations in hip hop, particularly MC styles and styles of flowing. And what's unique about both of these artists here is they have two very distinct, unique, different styles. Let's start with you, Craig, and just tell me a little bit about your flow, your style, your technique. Well, my style is a style, it ain't a style. You know what I'm saying? I just, I flow different over each track, you know what I'm saying? When I listen to beats, the beats put me in different moods and different phases, you know what I'm saying? It just make me want to zone into it and grab hold of the track and ride the rhythm. You know what I'm saying? One track will have me rhyming a certain type of texture and a certain type of style. Another track will have me rhyming another type of texture, another type of style. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going nowhere. So that's really the bottom line of all of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ah. So when you did flavor in in your ear, oh well, we got gold records. Yeah, we just, we just drop and go and join us out of the sky. Tumbling. Um, the style that you kicked on flavor in your ear, uh, just the way you went into that. I mean, just drop that opening in lyric. Was that opening, a, what was that? Well, just like you in the blab, about to kick the flab. Or flavor beat the battle, chip the chatter, matter than the mad hatter. There we go. You see what that that was more. The rhyme I kicked to that was more of a joyous type of rhyme because it was one of the last songs we was doing on the album. And um, because of it, I was so happy that we got the record deal and we were so happy that the album was being finished. And then that's why the title, Here Comes a Brand New Flavor in the Air, because I was thinking, well, what can I say that's coming? You know what I'm saying? This is going to be one of the singles. Puff's talking about we need another single to drop out before the album come out. So here it comes. Here comes a brand new flavor in the air. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was just sitting around chilling. Watching TV in my room and I wrote the rhyme and there it is. And that flavor in your ear led to your single which you have out now, which is Get Down. Well, flavor in the ear didn't lead to Get Down. Get Down led to Get Down. But I mean, flavor in the ear did its thing. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get Down, gonna do its thing. And every other bond that we're gonna drop off Project Funk the World gonna do this thing. Yo, let's jump into the video. Get on down. Ha! Ah, get on down, boy. Back on Stop Funk Flavor MTV, boy. Back. I seen the light excite all the freaks. Stack man chips, spread love with my peeps. Niggas wanna creep, got to watch my back. Think the cognac and endo sack make me slack. I switches all that. Sucker G's up. Won't force move, get Swiss cheesed up. I rough, rougher than rough and tougher than tougher. No bluff, enough and enough, creeping it down and all the other stuff. Craig Mack is live from Jim Court, my sport. It's taking nothing short. And the rhyme that I kick to the breaker. They say what's a hey, my God, I'm fly. Well, I don't know. Life goes on. <laughs> if a fruit drink is to become preeminent, it is expected to have great natural flesh flavors. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Real fruit flavors. Yeah, natural. Yeah. Preeminent. You know, it's like any great team. Baseball fans. To be the best, you must what? Practice. You must taste like the best. Hey, yo, Crooked Eyes, you're a bomb-tasting tea. Natural, real fruit juice, you know what I'm saying? Now, if a flavor isn't part of our team, 
What is it? Booty. What'd he say? Booty! You follow me? You get nowhere if you're not a part of this team. Right, Misty and Mr. Joey Snapazona? Yeah, team boy. <laughs> I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. Responding to a May 31st attack on certain rap and rock lyrics by Senator Robert Dole, the Republican frontrunner for the presidential nomination next year, the six major record labels met in Washington, D.C. on Thursday to discuss corporate and creative responsibilities. The labels, including Time Warner, the homes of Snoop Doggy Dog, Tupac Shakur, and Nine Inch Nails, singled out by Dole, reportedly discussed reviewing and perhaps updating the parental warning stickers put on certain records with an eye towards possibly adding a new NC-17 style sticker. We'll keep you posted. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more throughout the day here on MTV. Yeah, I want to switch over to Biggie right now. True. Who, you know. I am out of Biggie, tell me, um, I've read in uh, numerous articles about a part of your background. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's an unfortunate thing that a lot of people have to get into, but, you know, luckily you are out of it now, but like drug dealing. Yeah, you know. I mean, slinging on corners. Give us that flavor, because, it, I mean, you talk about it so vividly on the record. Give us the real of real, Biggie. That's what the real of real was. That's what I did. You know what I'm saying? If I had a McDonald's job, most of the songs would have been about Big Macs and fries and, you know, stuff like that. I hustled. That's what my, my game was, so that's what I was rapping about. That's how I was getting down. Do you feel that the rap game is similar to the crack game oh, no, in any no respect? No question. No question. Just like how you would get a big amount of work from a, a big time drug dealer he'll give it to you and you'll work it off and give him his PC and take your PC in the same way Puff hit me off with a budget told me to go make my album I get my PC and he get his PC it's the mm -hmm. same thing you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying mm -hmm. and if he want to get shiesty on me he can get shiesty on me if the big time drug dealer want to get shiesty on the worker he can do the same thing you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's all part of the game but son don't get down like that you know I don't get he down. the real player in the game you know but check it out, though. I mean, drop the message, though, as far as about what you learned from the drug game to how to what's know, happening now. What's happening well, now. And the I mean, I'm definitely glad, you know what I'm saying, that I'm out the game because it, it don't bring nothing but death. You know what I'm saying? Son schooled me to that a long time ago. Uh -huh. But at the same time, I can't knock it because I learned a lot from it. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to handle myself in the streets. I learned how to stack that paper. You know what I'm saying? It's like street street knowledge, you know what I'm saying? It's all a part of the game, but it's something that I wouldn't advise anybody to get involved with, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, yeah. if you ain't got your eyes open all the time, you can A lot, a lot of box. people try to knock it. We, as far as from the camp company standpoint, that knows a lot of people in the streets, a lot of people try to knock it, but you can't really knock it when you ain't the person out on the corner, don't have a dime in your pocket, True. and your stomach is growling True. ridiculously, and you're starving your and ridiculously, and you're trying to get everything going. Then that's when the morals kind of go to the side, and it's yeah. all about survival. You know what I'm saying? And it's a straight jungle out there, all in the different hoods and all that. So all the brothers that's doing that, they need to just be safe and God bless them. Right. And hopefully we will come up with different things. And the more we make records, and the more we can open doors for other people, we the put. more positions we can put down, and the more people yeah. we can get off the streets. You know what I'm saying? True. And God bless everybody out there. True. Cool. So like Puffy, what's 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 coming up in the immediate future for the uh -oh. bad boy? Bad I boy. Let us question. We got Big's wife dropping. No Big. doubt. And no Ms. Doubt. Wallace, she's dropping. So sure. um, we also have some B sides and some other different projects. We have Big's new album that's gonna be dropping in um, like September, Life After Death. Right. And I wanna congratulate Craig Mack on his Grammy nomination. No question. Yes, baby, yes. Cool, that's cool. And I'm sure you got <laughs> much things in store for my yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Here. We got a new album we're working on him to drop in January. Besides that, we're about to just drop our R and B stuff. The Puff Daddy gonna, album. We're gonna, yeah, what about the Puff Daddy solo project? Yeah. We don't like to talk about hey, that. Hey Puffy, you we know what Jack go to is the next video. Video. That single, We're gonna yeah. go to the next video. People's up in Kansaki, El Mara, from the West, Sing Sing, Death Row, Watertown, Best Style, ATL, Social Death, Kevin you know Wells, 112. All my Swing boys mob. up at El Mara. Mary J. Blige. Napa Nap. And LL Cool J, who signed to Bad Boy Management, who could not be here today. What? LL Cool it's J. It's for now, Ooh. five. Mary Get J. Blige. Live. Like I said, thanks for having me down here to your MTV Raps crew. Introduce to the whole Bad Boy right. flavor. All my, my people's Craig on Mack. the island. Ah. Rockers Island. BCF. Craig Mack, Gene. Four. <laughs>